I knew I could count on at least. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, sir! The fact that Mark doesn't have Ward last is is a testament to how fucking bad <laughs> Loris is. Hey, let's have a go first. Have hold on, hold on, hold on. Loris is starting. All right, you can't catch me being too ridiculous on this oh, show. I don't know. Firstly. Why the hell does he have Loris first when this guy should be freaking last? <laughs> you let Edder score from freaking halfway, cuz. Yeah. That's enough to put Facts. you last. And this and is it wasn't even a tip. <laughs> it was across the fucking ground. It dribbled like 15 times while winning the fucking All goal. Right, this and this has been let him shoot. Wrap it up. This has been let him shoot. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, share that shit. Yeah. Like, subscribe, share. Like, subscribe, share. Yes, Like, sir. subscribe, share. Spotify will come for your ass. Perfect. Say swear. They're New Balance New X street. Crocs. What the fuck? Say mums. He's, he's, yeah, mums. He's actually yeah, done. You don't care, eh? All right, you guys ready? You ready? 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 Free. Ready? Good morning, good afternoon, good night. You're back with Let Him Shoot. It's your Thursday night ritual. Yeah. I'm here with the blackest cast yeah. in all of Canberra. Jesus to my right. Christ. That's it's your boy MJ. Born in Africa, you know what it is. Mm. Happy to be here, man. Happy as always. To my left. Pengus take his baby. No fade gang. No fade gang. Me and my friend over here. <laughs> we get <laughs> my new tea. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony's are us. Are we yeah. allowed to say that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, we can say Ebony's. You can say it, yeah. You can definitely say it. What do you mean? You're Ebony too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying you can say it. Yeah, but Riley can't say it. Yeah, but I'm saying all of us can say it. Yeah. Yeah, you can say it. Yeah. Well. yeah. I wouldn't, but yeah. Why not? <laughs> Just continue. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your mind and then to my left <laughs> <laughs> Oh It's your boy BPB Pretty boy bud <laughs> What? BPB BPB Pretty boy Back bud Back out again Pretty With boy. another episode I'm gonna do something Up until Christmas Every episode that I'm on I'll be doing a new intro You guys think I can't do it I'll fucking do it <laughs> Stand up, show me the swearing. Huh? Before nice. we get into the episode, Mark, tell them what to do. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment on all platforms. All platforms. YouTube. Oh, yeah. IG. Woo. TikTok. This episode will no, be on um, streaming, Ooh. Spotify, and Apple Music. I know. You Twitch been, as well. He's been saying, the people in our comments on YouTube been saying, I yeah. want it on Spotify. Because so I need I to close listen. the app. I, I thought to- they had their money up. I thought they had YouTube Premium. Yeah, Apparently nah. not. Hey YouTube, can you give me YouTube premium? So yeah, we need to we need to put on all all streaming platforms, which will be happening. Twitch coming soon. Oh yeah, uh, live I, uh, TikTok live coming soon with RA skills. Oh yeah. Um, if you guys didn't know, production at the moment in the building, we got the two richest guys I've ever seen in my life. Yes. yes. Shout out RA skills. Shout out KS Karani. <laughs> RA skills. <laughs> And then we got the richest guy on earth yeah. sitting right on uh, Juju J's right. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, rich gang. Rich gang. And Born in Africa gang. Don't forget J Dreads Jordan in the back. Yeah, fuck yeah. We got J Dreads Jordan. This is the this, this is the, the most full this studio is. Yeah, been. yeah. This studio is full. This is live audience studio. Only Bill full Gates of blacks. and Elon Musk can top these guys. Facts. Yeah. That's facts. facts. And what's the other guy up and coming? What's his name? Uh, Jeff. Bozos. Yeah, Bozos as well. Yeah, Bozos. He can top them, but that's it. Anyone else? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> pause, pause, pause. <laughs> I mean, did you see that Benji one I said? Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. Oh, that yeah. one was so funny. Right, that's the bubble one. Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh that dang, was so yeah, funny. Yeah, fuck. Oh, banging. Um, <laughs> let's get into it. <laughs> this weekend's prem results. Crazy. Brazy. There was a lot of big results. Let's just go through. I've highlighted a few games. We'll quickly speak about each of them. Any comments, any thoughts, overall review. We'll start off where it all started off this weekend. Liverpool losing 1-0 to Nottingham. Samuel said this week, how come we never talk about Liverpool? How come we never talk about this Liverpool? Week. We're doing good. How come we never talk about Liverpool? Here we go. Here's your segment, baby. Liverpool yeah. talk about 0, it? Nottingham Forest 1. They got off the bottom of the ladder for about 24 hours. And now they're back. Some f- thoughts on the game. I feel like, you know, it's just extremely frustrating. It's like a story that's that's been our issue. It's been our problem. When a team sits back, we don't have the creativity. We don't have the players to break it down. And now playing in a four four two, just complete lack of creativity. 
complete lack of 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 any midfielders having influence. Fabinho put in the probably the worst performance I've seen a Liverpool midfielder in a long, long time. Like a long time. That's a complete zero out of ten for me. Having no Thiago was probably our biggest issue because there was zero creativity. Mm. Oh man, I I just I don't even know. Like I kind of wanted Darwin on the field. Uh, yeah, not saying something. One nil down. I think without Allison, we'd probably lose the game three three nil. Mike, who is Liverpool's worst player at the moment? Who is letting them down the the most? Do you think? I don't know. It's is a, it a it's, mix. It's a it's a mix. Um, I thought Gomez oh, was diabolical. It, it doesn't make sense. Awful. How do you go from one week clamping up the best striker in the league to then the next week away yeah. at Nottingham, you you put in a one out of ten? And it just looked like just the energy was just off. It's off. Like the centre backs playing out off. We can't the midfield press. off. You couldn't press. And I feel like everything that was like Liverpool's, like. Liverpool, what made Liverpool Liverpool mm. is just missing. Like, it's gone. There's nothing there about how you guys are playing now that's reminiscent of the good years at all. At all, and especially that's away from Anfield, we are a different. They side. haven't won a game away. I this think, is yeah. our worst start. We've season. got we've got two points. Is that correct? In five games away from home. Yeah. Buzz two draws. Thoughts. That's probably the best football game I've watched <laughs> in a year. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, I've been saying it for years now. VVD, Rogelin again. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Gomez. Bro, VVD was firing missiles into his midfield and then blaming <laughs> he him. He did one. He did <laughs> one. He did one. I saw one. He one did one. He, and I he, know he the exact well be, one you're talking about. He may as well be from that country that we all know. <laughs> the amount of missiles that he's firing. Oh. <laughs> Two. Joe Gomez. This is what happens when you have no fade. Yeah. Only one guy <laughs> ever can have no faith yeah. and, and play good football. Yeah, who's that? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three. Who the hell? How does Milner sneak onto the team <laughs> every time? Yeah, I think yeah. he puts his name on the thing. I think they have a right back there. He rubs it off the whiteboard and it, puts his it's name. It's too late to change the, cha- the team 100%. sheet. 100%. How can you have a midfield two of one guy who has a broken leg, who has not recovered yet? What's mm. his name? Elliot? Elliot. That's not even a football name. Just he go do right. something else. Mm. He didn't play all right. Yeah, he did. He was, oh, he he was did. probably our best player on the field. And you lost still. So mm. what does that mean? Nothing. It doesn't mean anything, Two. but he was our best player. How the hell is that other freak still there? Curtis. Yeah, the one that looks like the other left back from that other team, Nico <laughs> Ruiz. They look like twins. <laughs> Why didn't they just take both of them? Fire out. Three. You can't keep saying <laughs> Tiago. That was three. Continue. That was three. <laughs> three. You can't keep taking Tia- saying Tiago, Tiago, Tiago. My guy is like 54. You can't keep relying on a 54-year-old to... To save you. Mm. I think that's an issue. Four. Mm. That bold headed freak in the midfield is not a proper midfielder. Uh, he's finished. Respectfully, he's finished. I have to he's say finished. Fabinho looks like he a looks- shell of yeah. himself. Oh, it's he crazy. has no energy. Yeah. With his legs are gone. Yeah. The space of one, he's slow to every single challenge. He loses every single duel, one-on-one, in the air, on the ground. He every lo- single duel he loses. He looks tired. like mm. Not from like lack of sleep or something like he's just body's given up. I think he looks like a 38-year-old Fernandinho. Yeah. 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 It's it mi- difficult. What's it might thing? be just a whole Playing heartbreak the of oh, yeah. the every last season and then the games yeah. and everything. I think mm. the Liverpool squad is just thrown off a lot of heartbreak yeah i just yeah, think bro. mentally they're just checked out it's he also like, didn't make the bold and shaved head 11 so yeah. exactly that's More that heartbreak. speaks volume yeah that's if fabian volume. delph can make it and you can't cut, yeah, folks. then yeah thank you thank there you bud. that was excellent we're not gonna fucking miss that guy up front that yeah. guy that got bumped up to f- how much 700 or whatever yeah K. AUD. A AUD, yeah. AUD. <laughs> yeah. he got bumped up and now he's just he's just doing this yeah, he's all but he's all bummy in you really the season. Let, you really let Mane go for that? That's facts. Let's let's um take a turn to the opposite side of of Merseyside to a team that Oof. looks to have found <laughs> some sort of form. I I think I can honestly say I never saw it coming ever. I thought Lampard would be gone by this point in the season, hey. but he has he's done enough with the plays he's got to. 
to have turned things around a little bit at least. And he has Alex Awobi playing like, <laughs> I don't know who you want to say Awobi is playing like, but he is, if we did a top 10 midfielders list in the league today, underrated. he's in there. You have to put him. Oh, in, in general? In, he's probably in there. If based we on did it, they probably got two of them in there. Onana. Onana is, my goodness, this guy is a destroyer. Mm. He is probably, I reckon he'd be the most feared player in the league. If you're a midfielder and you're coming up against anyone in the league that, that you could be most scared of, it'd be him. Oh, because on the ball, mm. he's good. He can dribble past players. He's comfortable under pressure. And then off the ball, he will break your leg and not say sorry. Box to box. <laughs> yeah, bro. And yeah, he looks like unknown T. Yeah, he's... he's <laughs> where's, where's he from? Like He played in France. Oh, I don't know his nationality. Yeah, bro. He's unknown. But, like a joke. but yeah, he, he, he's... And he's young as well. Yeah. He's very so young. they're going to get a lot of longevity. And I think you got Drisa Gunnagay back. Oh, yeah. yeah. He Gaze. offers you experience. Yeah, Gaze he's exactly decent. And think yeah. about if someone had he's told Belgium. you. Far Belgique? No. no. Isn't that the thing? Yeah, Belgique, yeah. 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 What do you mean, no, cuz? I, I thought you were saying, is that what I said? No, nah, I, <laughs> yeah, I said no. And they got gay back. Yeah. Yeah. If, some, if, someone had, if someone had told one of you Arsenal guys that Alex Awerby would be playing centre mid at mm. this level five years ago, four years ago, I well, just, he's got the technical ability, yeah. but he didn't even have the awareness to play on the wing. <laughs> yeah. But now he's got the awareness and somehow transformed his whole game, being able to play in midfield and still being able to show his dribbling ability, his ability on the ball. It's not like he changed to, to, to a, like a pass, like uh, similar to Joe Willick, like movement running. To be fair to him though, he always showed potential when playing 10. Yeah. But- Honestly. Whenever he played in the front three, he has zero end product. Yeah. yeah. So I think he could never flourish playing wide or playing up front just because he was more, you know, good in tight areas, could beat players. Strong. But he, he never had any sort of end product. This year for Everton, yeah. engine, keeps the ball under pressure, creating chances like every single game. Steez. Yeah. Steez. Yeah. He let the dreads grow out. Bro. Dance. He, Everton probably have the best dancing team now. They yeah. got a cool team now. If there was like an NBA um, most Comparison. improved award, oh. <laughs> it like he would be a front runner. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Him, Almiron, top two. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Speaking oh, yeah. perfect. Speaking of Almiron, that lizard. Newcastle have won again. They have n only lost one game this year, and that was to away to Liverpool. Yeah. In the ninety eighth minute, mm -hmm. they've played City who they drew, they drew with United, they beat Tottenham away. And then Liverpool as well. And they, yeah, they, they played Liverpool, they lost, but they are absolutely flying. And I think Almiron has to deserve a lot of credit. Big time. And the other one is, this guy is a, a superstar, Bruno Gamaro. He's a oh, yeah. superstar. Oh, we, we, we spoke about this guy. Yeah. Bef before we talk about Newcastle, Tottenham got off to their best ever start in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. And they've lost three of their last five games. Yeah, so it's it's very very shaky. And Conte yeah. said it. You guys saw you saw <laughs> yeah, the interview. You saw he the literally said, up, bro. he said, if we play anybody, with if quality. we play against good teams with good quality, mm. we're gonna struggle. He said that, and it's it's so clear because Newcastle pressed up high. Tottenham couldn't breathe. They did similar to what to what <laughs> Man U did to them. The the wing backs weren't able to get up the field. They weren't able to put any pressure on, on the Newcastle back line. Emerson Royale somehow made it back. Sessegnon as well, court. horrible in the game. Mm. What, what are your thoughts on, Bud, I guess what Newcastle can achieve this year? Like they have a lot of potential and there's still another transfer window in the middle of the season. That's what I mean, man. I think this star has brought attention to bigger stars coming. Mm. I mean, at the start of the year, they'll probably like, people will, Probably like, do I want to move there? Mm. Is it a big risk? I think now that they're up in the top four, they're fourth now. Aren't yeah, they? fourth. Yeah, it's more like uh, who they don't want now. I feel like a lot of players are going to want to want to go there. Yeah. Wanna, wanna. But yeah, <laughs> nah, free, it's, free gunners. But it, it's good for them and it's good for the team. And honestly, like they've got, they've got Isak out. Mm. They're doing this with Isak and Sam Maxim out. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like they're doing this. They've had injuries all year. Legit. Like they haven't, they haven't had a full squad yet. This, this is what my thing is about all the Liverpool fans because on the Liverpool pages that I follow and that I'm part of, they all say we have injuries, we mm. have players out. But if you look at our squad and compare it to the squad that Newcastle have even fully fit, 
Yeah, facts. Our squad yeah. should be much better, should be performing Absolutely. way higher than that. Yeah. And on that note, yeah, you go, you go. No, no, I was just going to say that I don't think, it gets to a point as a big team where that can't be an excuse. You look at Nottingham squad. There should never be a time where a squad like that should beat you and you should be able to say we had injuries. Yeah. It, that should never be a thing. And on that note, if you look at, if they've got a midfield of Willick, Longstaff, Gamarish. Exactly. Tell me, <laughs> if you look at that just on paper, yeah. how you would say this, that, that midfield is in the top four and dominating team. And their other midfielder is an ex striker, Jolinton. Yeah. 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 You, you have to give credit to Eddie. So Howe. Games, games they start with Jacob Murphy, right wing. They start yeah. games. Respectfully, Jacob Murphy shouldn't be anywhere near a top half Premier and League. And playing side. In, the in, in the yeah. front, yeah. In the front yeah. of yeah. the Defensively, team. they've conceded <laughs> the least amount of goals. Yeah, as well. best defensively. So it's clear that his football philosophy is working. Perfect. They aren't parking the bus either. No, no, and no. they're playing exciting football. Mm. I, I, there was one point in the game today where I saw Bruno Gamares go oh, press Gamarish, all yes. the way out until Next level. Uh, Emerson Royale went to receive the ball and Gamares just destroyed him, won the ball. That's the DM who just went out wide, won the ball. And I watched Almiron score that goal far out. And I think as well, like Bud was saying, there was there's a lot of players that were possibly waiting Mm. to go to Newcastle once they've secured some sort of European football, once they've, yeah, you know, right. they know they're definitely they're there. But stable. that could be coming way sooner than anyone oh, expected. If, yeah. They're in a position now where they could easily, I'm saying easily contend for those Europa League spots. Yeah. Like yeah. they've done enough to, I think Champions League is going to end up being not too much not for them. just because their squad isn't good yeah. enough. But Europa League is not out of the question. And I think once they get European minimum. football... Those players that that are like, oh, maybe Newcastle's a an option are gonna it's definitely jump at that plus the wages. Oh, absolutely. Like they could be scary. And let's not let's not skip Tottenham because these guys the last three or so weeks mm. have been poor. So, so, so poor. Defensively, today, Dyer and Lloris put in a horror show. <laughs> Lloris, mm -hmm. it can't just be back to back oh. to back to back to back Bro, mistakes, right? Lloris is finished. Lloris, yeah. He's been finished. He's been finished. He been yeah. finished. But why can, why can he be defended so... There's so many Lloris stands in the world on TikTok. In, Bro, yeah. they say he's won a World Cup, but you're watching. Are you not watching him play? <laughs> mm. That today, him to run into... No. Callum Wilson and then fall on the ground pretending that it's a foul. I'm so, so, so glad. That's like big ups to the ref because I yeah. think other refs might have seen that yeah. called a foul yeah. because it's the keeper outside the box. Yeah. But thank God he didn't call it because that's so poor. His highlight was probably when he broke his arm. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, he could have a break. Yeah, that was really bad. Yeah. That, like, that was probably his best highlight. <laughs> he could have a break. <laughs> and so Newcastle, they went fourth. They go into fourth because... Chelsea and United drew. Mm. It meant nobody could capitalize. But thoughts. I thought Chelsea, they'd stole the game. 88th minute pen. Yep. Orginio, cold. Yep. Cold pen. Back to taking pens the normal way. Yeah. That's some, you know, yeah. I was watching that game and when I saw that pen. And it's a pen. Yeah, like, I, mean, I, I don't know who was awesome, saying yeah, that it's not a pen. It's a pen. How many times have we seen that this year alone mm, mm. where someone is full on hugging? Mm -hmm. the opponent in the box like what for my only thing is why do they sometimes call it and why do they sometimes yeah, exactly. do it doesn't yeah. it? because there's been a lot of games and especially obviously watching Liverpool there's been a lot of times where it's happened and the refs just leave it yeah. and you're thinking it's clearly a foul if it's anywhere else it's a foul yeah absolutely but Wait. did you think Chelsea deserve more from the game? I think I think we we got away with a point yeah I think so I feel well. like they were peppering us in the United good alone. They're, they're the good. First half yeah. was first they were half, good. They, they were way better. The they did exactly yeah. what they did the to Tottenham. 100%. For that change. Yeah. I, 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 li I literally saw a thing, uh, a breakdown of the game, and, and they said that they forced, like they did against Tottenham, the fullbacks mm. could not. Chilwell and, um, and who's playing right wing back? Um, um, let me find it. Keep talking there. But yeah, anyway, they forced the. Oh, the now nah, he played centre mid with. With uh, oh, with last, Jorginho, last week he played yeah, back. Jorginho and and Loftus Cheek could quite yeah, Jorginho and Loftus Cheek could not deal with Ericsson and and um Has Bruno. Oh yeah, yeah Bruno. well they, they, they had the overload. <coughs> they had the overload, and every yeah. time they tried to step onto Casemiro, he was Casemiro able to was find good, the pass yeah. every single time. He yeah. was like, he's yeah. finding his spot now in the team, yeah. and I think 
Graham Potter making that change is is one of the best. As a Chelsea fan, it could be like the best thing you could see mm-hmm. because he he completely changed the tempo of the game. He's, he he changed the overload. Chelsea were able to go longer and win the second balls and, and create yeah. more chances. If that was Tuchel there, he would have stuck to the... The first half team, yeah, until we conceded, and then gone on and decided to change the game. Yeah, it was. That's, a, that's yeah. the thing I like about Potter. It was a great change as well. Ten Hag definitely deserves credit. United definitely deserve credit because yeah. they've now played City, Tottenham, Liverpool. Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea. That's it. Without a oh, they lost to City. They lost to City. You Which should lose to City at the end. Yeah, did. Yeah, but they've they beat Tottenham. Liverpool, Arsenal, and drew with Chelsea away right. at Stamford Bridge and dominated large parts of the game. 100%. I think with a transfer window, United are going to be looking strong and yeah. definitely be pushing for top four. And and the players that United have brought in at the start of the season, it was a bit iffy. Mm. But if you look at it, Eriksen has completely transformed the way that they play. Yeah. Casemiro completely transformed the way that they play. Martinez has been since he's come in outstanding. Yeah. A lot of people said he couldn't play center back in the Premier League. Yeah. Everyone likes to joke, he's short, whatever. No, he was fucking good. But he's he's been you so also good. Shout out Dallow. I feel like oh my God. as much as he would like I thought he was a joke of a fullback, he's proven that <laughs> defensively he's solid. Going forward, he's solid. He's yeah. kinda yeah. got system, tech as well. System wise, he's he's almost perfect. Yeah. Uh, and he's got passion, bro. Yeah. yeah. That guy wins a, he kicks it out for a corner, he's celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> what so other he, does that So shit? as a coach, maybe he's got it. Ten Hag's you know? got it. Yeah. He's yeah, got it. He's United looking good. good. We, can't, we can't give Ericsson that much credit because if you give me a fake heart like mm. him, a hundred percent- a super engine. Bro, yeah. I'm not even playing menu. I'm playing Barca first team. <laughs> it's my name, then Messi and the other guys <laughs> first. Also, yeah. also- the way he handled the Ronaldo thing, mm. I respect it. You got to do it. Yeah. I respect it. If you're yeah. a big manager and if you want to be a big manager, you got to do it. That's the issue that many have had with I their past it. managers after Sir Alex. That's we need a we need to call Ten Hag the Ten by Ten Exterminator because <laughs> he's got rid of a parasite that's been there for years, <laughs> two well, months, one in yeah. a couple months, Half. yeah, yeah, yeah. F- something months like sixteen months or something. <laughs> yeah. So Ten. Ha- 10 by 10, Terminator, 10 hug. Amazing, bro. We got rid of the the parasite, the blood sucking one. Uh, We'll quickly go into the last two games that I wanted to speak about. This one was baffling. Bud messaged the chat and said, what the fuck? Or was it Bud or, or Critch who said, I think me check actually. the, what the hell is going on in the oh, Billy game? Me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, I thought it was the- <laughs> the, inside, <laughs> inside the first 14 minutes. Was, I, mean, I thought it was- Why were you watching Aston Villa? I thought it was <laughs> Aston Villa, not Aston. Yeah, Aston, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but if, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Gerard fired last match day. Yeah. The assistant coach, who's the coach, dropped McGinn, the Thank captain. God, bro. He dropped Rat Dog McGinn. Mm-hmm. 4-0. And it, it obviously, how many times have we seen like yeah. coach gets fired, yeah. the team wins the next Backs. game because they're bouncing back, you know, yeah. showing the manager of why they certain dudes should have been playing, why certain dudes weren't playing. Coutinho didn't start. Like um, it was just like a complete, I don't think anyone saw that result coming. No. Against Brentford, who's a good side. Yeah, bro. Four. And defensively a good side. 4-0. Brentford are the team to just go and, Concede four. No, they no. play five at the back. Yeah. They're yeah. not that kind of team. How the hell? Yeah. yeah. But can I just say, yep. this has been my one wish for a couple months now. Mm. McGinn not starting. I used yes. to always check Aston Villa starting 11. Yeah. Aston. When I, when I, Aston starting <laughs> 11. When I saw it yesterday, I was like this. Yeah. I used to pray for times like this. I pray for the Messiah. He, he did his shit. Yeah, facts. Worked. Man, I think Aston Villa, realistically, they have a, the squad... Good yeah, enough to that's finish the top half yeah. r- minimum. Yeah. Absolutely. Minimum. So if they get a decent coach, they've been linked with how many coaches? Pochettino, Pochettino Tuchel. Yeah. Like all these coaches that they don't deserve. <laughs> yeah. But they've they've got a good squad. If so they I manage to get somebody. That's the thing. That they've can do a, a, squad, you know, a little bit of, maybe even get, uh, what's his name? Smith back. Dean. Uh, Dean Smith. Dean, get him back with this Dino. squad. Yeah. They'll finish higher. Apparently like they're, they're they trying to get him back. I've oh, seen shit. it. Yeah, yeah. they're in, they're trying to. Yeah, is this is this the downfall of Liverpool? 
Just everything Liverpool. Mm. Yeah, everything Liverpool is just mm. just going down, bro. <laughs> Gerard. Gerard. Liverpool. Liverpool. Coutinho. Klopp. Coutinho. <laughs> VVD. Yeah. Gomez. Milner still playing somehow. Yeah, facts. Yeah, we're not going back into that. Fabinho. Fact. But no, I think, yeah, I, I think the reality is this, they had a great squad. For the position that they're uh, meant absolutely. to be finishing in, it's a great squad. Yeah. So they're really performing at a level that, okay, they sh- really should be. Mm. Um, I think it was definitely an impressive result because how often do um, Brent forget spanked, smashed? No, nah, but yeah, it's yeah. it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. It'll yeah. be interesting to see. You'd expect that from a city like four yeah. nil. Yeah, game's done. You guys, the game was over quickly as well. Quickly, fourteen minutes was it? Fourteen yeah. minutes. You think Aston Villa will push on? Do you think it depends on the manager? Do you think they get top half? Do you think they get relegated? Do you what? What do you think happens for the rest of the year? I think it's hard to predict. Just because of it's like how good the squad is, how they've been performing, yeah. What manager they get in? I'm gonna say they finish between big dick prediction. Yeah, I'm gonna say they finish. That can't be a thing now, is it? BD, BDE, BDP. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are dyslexic. BDP. You spelled dyslexia around. <laughs> D Y. Ah, uh, so, so, so. we don't we don't have enough time. Alright, yeah, there we are. Alright. Prediction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah>. My production <laughs> bleep that out. My uh big no, Richard no. prediction. No, no, no. <laughs> prediction. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say that. Okay. My, fat clop. <laughs> my clop. fat clop prediction <laughs> is Aston Villa finish twelfth. Bud. Um <laughs> prediction. Quick maths. FT FCK <laughs> prediction <laughs> K minus a seven. How many teams are in the prem? Twenty. Twenty one. <laughs> They're gonna finish ninth. <laughs> oh fuck! That's a fat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fat one. I'm gonna say mid table. Ten. ten. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Oh. Squad. Ten's high. Still. Yeah, they what? got the squad. It's early days. With how many yeah. good teams there are at the moment in the Premier League? Yeah. I'm going to say 14, 15. 14, oh. 15. Oh, low, low. Yeah, I think they just are going to go so through a little bit of a... Yeah. They'll go through a little bit of a purple patch. Yeah. They'll win a few games and then I think it'll just be up, down, down up, down for the possible. rest of the year. You need, yeah, if you want... if Aston, if you want to win matches, <laughs> don't start McGinn and don't start uh, Mings. Yeah, facts. You win matches. He facts. Started. Put Consi Consa in. Mings did start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. How, many, how many games? That's like Maguire starting and United winning. Doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. Put Consi Consa Very in. Cool, man. Yeah. And put, what's the other guy? Who's the other, the other center weight they got? He got injured. Oh, Diego. Shit. Yeah. 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 Nah, he was Achilles. 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 Yeah. Fuck. yeah. I heard a song today and someone said, broke my, Kodak Black said, broke my Achilles. <laughs> and I thought, how? What did he rhyme it with? I don't know. He said I would have made the league if I didn't break my <laughs> What some, league? Have you like seen that. the video of Kodak oh. where he's like talking yeah, to the heart? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. talking to the college football team and he's like, like I'm, go- I'm coming to college next year. And <laughs> they all start laughing, but he like he looks meant, full yeah, serious. He's serious. He got cut. <laughs> yeah, how's that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 the next he, with the word before. He did. He rhymed it with, now I'm chilling with my Achilles. No, he didn't. He did. You're a kappa. <laughs> he just made that up. <laughs> there's, that, there's that song where Kodak rhymes winning with penitentiary. Yeah. <laughs> penitentiary. Young Kodak, they don't like to see you winning. They want to see, see you locked up penitentiary. in a <laughs> <laughs> Except he could have just said prison. Yeah. yeah. Nah, that rhymes with winning. <laughs> I reckon he's got dyslexia. Yeah, fact. And speaking so. of dyslexia, Champions League's back this week. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just skip the last game? <laughs> <laughs> all the, oh, all the oh, we can talk about Arsenal. Oh yeah, what? Oh, we can talk about Arsenal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Arsenal drew one all away to Southampton. I know these guys have got <laughs> because Arsenal have dropped points for the first time in a long time. Yeah. Um, ultimately, maybe based on the game, it was a deserved result. But based on chances in the game, not not deserved. Arsenal dominated the game, had the most clear chances in the game. I think we're. Heavily affected by refereeing, but also a poor second half let Southampton back into the game. Um, did you guys have any thoughts? Thoughts on the VAR decisions or no VAR decisions? Um, thoughts on any key performances? For me, I watched that Southampton game, that, uh, that game and I watched Southampton in that second half. And although they improved, 
in the second half, I can't tell you who a standout was. Yeah. I can't tell you anybody who played well for them. Like, it was just a more you Arsenal know, let that You know what I think in. happened in the game? I think that's what, when we, when we looked at Arsenal at the start of the season, that's what we assumed would happen when, in terms of Arsenal making top four or, or mm. challenging for that position. They'd play really well in the first half, create lots of chances, but then at the end, in difficult games when it's away from home, they'd not crumble, but let the other team in, give them a chance. Whereas this season, they've been ruthless. They haven't given teams chances to get back in the game. And when they've needed to put their heels in and defend, they have. So I think... Today it's like uh, it's more of just a, a slip up. I don't think, think it's so. I don't think it's sign of, of things that are going to come because if you look at the chances Arsenal had, if Jesus takes some of those chances, yeah. if refereeing decisions like the Jesus penalty, which for me is a pen and a red card, I think they they easily win the game. And they should have received another two red cards. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It, very strange refereeing decisions that. If it's other players, they're getting it's it's different. It's a different outcome. Refs should do what the, something where like they get interviewed after matches as well. I think mm. so as well. Because yeah, I've heard they, about. They, they need to introduce that. It can't just be that. a bold freak. Uh, oh yeah, my yeah, god, he's defending such a them, loser. and he just defends them no matter what. Damn it! Yeah, do you know what I think should happen? Like in the A League, where they had the the uh, recording of the of the conversation between the VAR and the ref. Oh yeah. To, yeah decipher whether or not it was a red card to decipher whether or not it was a penalty. I process. think that conversation needs to come into into account and come and show to the public. Under because it shouldn't yeah. be it shouldn't be just a secret. Yeah. We should I know agree. why they've come to this decision. Exactly. What refereeing decision like what rules were made so that that would happen. And you'll yeah. notice a lot of the time when there's contentious decisions, uh in game, they won't show the replay of the at the, the, the thing, and that happened for everything in the Arsenal game. Yeah, the pen wasn't shown again on any replays. Uh, the red card incident wasn't shown again on any of the replays. So, I think uh, there has to be a, a lot more transparency when it comes to yeah VAR and like what VAR actually does because it's meant to be there so that mistakes are minimized. But how can Fair. how can there be mistakes? And we just go past them and say, next game. And the key happens. example of that is, I said it, I when Arsenal's goal against United got disallowed because of the Odegaard foul, I said, okay, it's a foul, but that isn't a clear and obvious decision that's been called in every single game that will, ever will we come back yeah. for. And in the Arsenal game against Southampton, where there's a clear and obvious penalty and red card... They, say they don't even have a look. It's not clear and obvious. So they don't even give you a replay. They they just say VAR check upheld. They just say it's yeah, it's good. But no, we don't even know they checked. No. We don't even know there was a conversation because <laughs> there wasn't. Why not just tell him? All right, just go have a look because they can go have a look. So just tell him go have a look. I think maybe you didn't mm. get the right view or maybe yeah. you didn't get the right because that's what it's there for. So I don't know. VAR is a stinker. Yeah, they need they need to put a a mic near what's that guy. Yep. Mike Dermot's. <laughs> Mike Dermot. <laughs> you know? Dermot Gallagher, Dermot I think, or some shit. Near his ass, because that guy talks a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, cat, yeah, facts. Cat. Yeah, he, and even when he knows he's wrong, oh, he, he does. Right. And he won't. No. And just, like, I love hesitate. that analyst because they, yeah. they always say, right always look, you're, you're literally wrong. Did you yeah. say? <laughs> they hit him hard. Pause. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pause, pause. You're, you're, <laughs> you're definitely wrong. Yeah. yeah, facts. But big ups to Arsenal. A big improvement has been. And I won't say this much, but it's when I like how if one of the defenders isn't having a good game, the other one is is mm. playing like mm. he's the one taking Making the lead. Up exceptional. For it. Yeah. yeah. That's I think that's a big difference compared to other years where you'd have the shit centre back or a centre back playing shit, and the other one's just playing just as bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or, the, everybody's or just that worried one. about their own job. Yeah. Whereas yeah. this, it's like you could see Gabriel was the one lifting that defense. Absolutely, that, that yeah, game. yeah. And he was, he was, the last two games, yeah, yeah. And he and he had a he had a rocky start to the season, definitely. Yeah. But I think the last two games, he's yeah. he's, he's stepped up, it's particularly um, yesterday. today yesterday, yeah. or yesterday, yeah. or whatever. And I th I think it was something that everyone expected. Saliba, he can't play well every game. Mm. Exactly. You're young, you're it's a new 21 league. Twenty one or yeah, 20, 21, 20. Gabriel, who's also young, yeah, yeah but. Shit. Had to say, there's a time where he had to say, "Look, 
You're not playing the best, yeah. but I'll keep us afloat. I'll I'll win every single duel that comes my way. Every yeah. header I'll win. Yeah, and it it just assures the rest of your backline. Yeah, absolutely. My, my biggest my biggest weary though is that it looks like we are starting to get a bit tired because mm. I feel like Saliba looked just tired. He looked like he's played a lot of minutes. He's had a lot of minutes. Played a lot of games, yeah. and I think that's starting to catch up to our players. And I think this is where the squad depth mm. is going to start to to really to be a factor yeah. Yeah. because yeah, I, I, particularly in that second half, Absolutely. that's probably one of the most disappointing performances I've seen. Yeah, um, even Gabriel Jesus, he looked fatigued. Yeah, Whether fatigued. that's he's working too hard off the ball, so when yeah. he gets his chance, he's not finishing. But well, yeah, it's, it's it's interesting. And, yeah, and you look at City cycle through their team they every just, week. Cycle through they centre have to back. Play Stones, Gundogan. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the difference, or that's the thing with having a young squad. Yeah, Arsenal. absolutely. It's like those those players don't know how to pace themselves yet. Yeah, yeah. So it's like they they might need those a couple of those older players mm. maybe mm. to help, like be like, yeah, like it's where you slow down. Stuff like that. They manage the game. They, they were, el- they were electric to start the game. I mean, That's October I mean. has been, not to defend them, but it's been a bigger month than usual for yeah. the team. Oh, and ever. Just because they're trying to squish in as many games as possible before the World Cup. But yeah. to your point, if that game pile-up happens in February, March, yeah. uh, and Arsenal go through the same thing, it's like, well, will that be the difference between a p- potential top two spot and fighting for third and fourth? Yeah. Like, and it I could easily Arsenal happen. Yeah. Should definitely look into making I think they will spend in January. Money. I think so. Yeah. You have to. It only ma- it makes sense. They have to yeah. back Arteta and say, look, what you're doing is is fantastic, but you need a bigger squad and you need better players. Yeah. Yeah. And if if we're gonna get Champions League, yeah. which at the moment it looks like everybody thinks it's a it's a it's a yeah. definite. Um yeah, I think at least two signings in January will probably be key. Yeah. yeah. But speaking of Champions League, back this week, it's Segway. getting to the, I guess, second last crunch game. time yeah. for, for clubs in, in third, second, to try and go through to the next round, go through to the knockout round. We've seen Liverpool, who started off poorly, they've sort of re- regathered, in Champions League anyway, they've regathered themselves. Barca are fighting for a uh, spot in second. Then probably Atletico not. Atletico Madrid are struggling. Atletico going down. Barca going down. Juventus going down. Juve look average, 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 yeah. average. You've seen Dortmund look average. Mm. Um, there's so many teams that have just, you assume that they're going to go through, but if you look at the potential Europa League yeah. knockouts, it's like six big teams from the Champions wow. League are dropping down. Yeah. It'd be big. It'd be worrying for teams like Arsenal. Yeah. in Europa League. <laughs> absolutely, no, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because no. we're going to be playing. You're going to be Barca? playing a Barca. The or Champions an League and Europa League knockouts when it gets to the quarterfinals are going to look similar. Yeah, they're going to be difficult. <laughs> so many good teams have dropped out. Might have to watch some. And there, there, are, there are teams that have been extremely, extremely surprising in Champions absolutely. League. Absolutely. So standouts from each of you. I want yeah. one team. Slash one player stand out. I can go first. My ah, stand out. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay. This is a collective one. I know what you're going to say. My stand out is going to be the whole Napoli team. Yeah, I think we could all say that as a. There's a couple of players in particular who, for me, are. They're, they're playing out of their skin. And for me, those two players. For, mm. No, actually, there's three. Di Lorenzo. Yeah. Great. But. Zambo and Guisa and Kravatskelia. Yeah. <laughs> Kravatskelia. Kravatskelia. If you've seen Kravatskelia, just you look at a photo yeah, of Kravatskelia. You look at a photo of Kravatskelia. Kravatskelia. You just look at a photo of him. You are not saying anything. You are not saying, fuck, this guy's going to be good today. If you're lining up, Champions League, you hear the anthem, you see Kravatskelia. Yeah, bro. If I see him at UFC the next day, I wouldn't be surprised. Kravitska. <laughs> Kavichka Kravatskelia. Bro, you are not saying anything. You're not even like, oh, this guy's going to be good. Oh, oh fuck. This yeah. is going to be a tough game. You're just being like, ah, oh, oh, I'm about to towel this guy up. One of the most techie wingers in Europe right now. One of the best wingers in Europe. The best one-on-one players I've seen in, He's in the world. He's so, the so techie. He's so incredibly good in 1v1 situations. <laughs> yeah, he creates so many He's light and fast Napoli. as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. they... It, and they have a r- very balanced squad. Mm-hmm. Like all throughout their 11, they can do damage. But there's times where they know like we're going to keep the ball here and just isolate him 
get him the ball and I guarantee they create a goal scoring opportunity yeah, he's, because he's, he's so insane. good. Didn't he didn't he just become a name because of the war <laughs> in in Ukraine and thing? Because I think he was playing he was meant to, the yeah. Russian league. Then he had to oh, really? And he had to leave. Yeah. So he went back to his... Uh, he's from Georgia. Yeah, yeah so he went back Georgian. to the Georgian league. And then... Napoli bought him. Well, oh, really? I saw yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is real facts. This yeah. is real fa- <laughs> facts, buds. You, you know what I saw? Signing. Yeah. When I saw him playing for Napoli, I remembered his name because Fabrizio, shout out Fabrizio, posted saying he made a video. Big lover of the show, Fabrizio. He, <laughs> 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 he said, he said, whoever signs... Whoever signs Kravashkelia, yeah. he said, whoever signs him Wait, has Kravashkelia. Yeah, so they said, whoever signs him is signing a, a superstar. That This is what he said. And mm. no one even knew who he was. Yeah. He said, whoever signs him is signing a superstar. I guarantee that he'll perform like he's he's amazing. Then whatever went past, no one noticed anything. It was like, and, that was like 18 months, two years ago. Yeah, a long, a long yeah. time ago. And oh, then shit. I see him performing... Against Liverpool, and I'm thinking this guy is yeah, phenomenal. I literally watch Napoli um, highlights just so I can watch Kravatskaya <laughs> and and yeah. centre mid general. Oh yeah, Zambo. Is it Zambo. Zambo and Guisa. Is it because you couldn't put his name on YouTube? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, why. Fact. I just type in Napoli highlights. <laughs> <laughs> Napoli number seventy seven highlights. <laughs> I just put uh, what's his, what's his nation again? George Georgian. Georgian. Yeah, Georgian. Georgian. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mark, who is your standout? For me, I've. I've been really impressed with, this is out of the box, but Guendouzi. Oh yeah. Nice. I think he's, obviously I've seen him in Arsenal mm. and we knew he was talented, but I feel like he's definitely p- starting to play with more of a maturity in his game. Not to say that he doesn't make mistakes, he doesn't do dumb stuff, but in terms of the way he carries his team, mm. he's being able to assist, his yeah. goal scoring numbers, mm. he's really starting to, yeah, just have- He's the captain of the- yeah, He's yeah, the lead of the games, yeah. 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 So his his outputs there, and I'm just seeing like a a quality player, and I'm 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 burning a little bit. And it's Marseille are another one, sorry, who are fighting for for qualification because them and Sporting are tied on points. Yeah, going into the last two games, and I think they they play each other as well. Yeah, so well, yeah, it's a good thing that he's coming back in January. <laughs> <laughs> And one more shout out. It's ex Arsenal at Marseille. If you look at uh, the Marseille yeah. side, there is so many ex Arsenal players. Say Ed yeah. plays there. Sanchez plays there. Play centre back there. Yeah, yeah. Colasso oh, plays centre back. You put him on his right foot, cuz. Guendouzi. I think there's another one. Somebody I'm forgetting. Saliba was there last year. Um, Tavares. Tavares, like yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. Is he actually weak? Yeah, yeah, he's shooting from everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> he did already. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> he did that at Arsenal. Your XG went down. Oh yeah, my other shout out is similar to uh, Kravashkelia. I uh, didn't know anything about him, oh. but seeing him I play, put you on Jeremy there. actually put me <laughs> yeah. on. He said, <laughs> "This is the you. he said this is the Ukrainian name." <laughs> yeah. I said, "Oh yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever." <laughs> oh, that guy, bro, yeah. Mateo Modric. Yeah, yeah. What? this what? guy. Modric. Say it again, <laughs> Mateo Modric. Yeah. Modric. <laughs> he is actually, I promise you, he's phenomenal. I think it's Shakhtar aren't great, nah. but him. Yeah. Anytime he gets the ball one on one, two v one, whatever it is, he's mm. creating. He's going yeah. past players. He's, he's scoring. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and he looks like he's their most dangerous player. He looks far like far. he's from like Easy. the Brazilian favelas with them neck yeah. tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Albino. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Albino. Brazil the Shakhtar Albino. president came out, and obviously this is because they know that he's going to leave Shakhtar yeah. soon, and they want to jack up <laughs> the price. But he said. By far, he's the most talented player that's ever played for Shakhtar. And think of all the good players that went to Shakhtar. Willian, mm-hmm. fucking all them Brazilian guys that went to Shakhtar at, yeah. at one point. Alex Teixeira. Like, yeah, Alex Teixeira, Luis Adriano. Uh, Fernandinho. Douglas Costa. Douglas Costa Fernandinho. Fernandinho. I think he's Brazilian, bro. Look at that. That's <laughs> a good coincidence. And Mikhailo Modric. Yeah, Modric. I got one he's more cold, standout. Yeah. Uh, is, a, is a tongue twister as well. Name's tongue twister. Yeah. Jawid Bellingham. <laughs> oh, he did good. He's a, G. He's a G though. He he has gone general. up another level general yeah. season. Man, he's he's added goals, like not just goal, goals he, to his games. It's almost as though he's scoring every game. He's a fucking champion. presence I mean. as well. He's yeah. a presence. He's huge. Pause. Presence. <laughs> Him, that's what Loftus Cheek should have been. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Facts. Facts. That's an excellent shout. Loftus Cheek. 
Start watching Jude Belly videos. Loftus Cheek left England and went somewhere. For he, a, that's year? what he would have done. That was yeah. his ceiling. Yeah. Hundred like, percent, absolutely. Like, where Bellingham is now is Loftus Cheek ceiling. Jude is phenomenal. <laughs> he's where Loftus yeah. should be, should yeah. have been already. He's, he's incredible. Jude he's incredible. is phenomenal. And like Man. like Guendouzi, he's given the captain's armband oh. yeah. for yeah. for most games. Yeah, you can. He is so 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 good, and he's doing everything that I didn't even know he could do. Yeah, because uh, we injured. always thought he he was a bit overrated. Yeah, bit I did. Yeah. tax this I that, but. Did. Nah. nah, he's he's definitely showing his quality and the real deal. Yeah, hey, he's, he's the real deal. The two English dons in the Bundesliga are really playing out of their mind at the moment. Yeah, facts. Musiala, Musiala and, nice. and Bellingham. Yeah, yeah. I don't even like Musiala that much, but hey, look, yeah, he's performing. Uh, so we spoke about a couple of the players, um, but hmm. by popular demand, we got. I think we got maybe twenty eight thousand. Uh, maybe yeah. <laughs> 2,800 at least DM saying, can you guys please do a start sub sell? Oh, hectic. So we're going to do a start sub sell. Um, production gave me a list, a big list of players. Cheers. But I'll also, I'll also chuck in a couple from the crowd. Um, so start sub sell. Do you want to do it with the whiteboards or do you want to just say them? Same. Well, <laughs> we might not be able to see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. But no, the whiteboard's kind of fun. It's up to you guys. I'm easy. We can do it. Yeah, let's do it. Right, uh, we're doing start sub sell, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Maybe write start sub sell. Like, write it so you can keep it there and just rub out the names that you... Just write start sub... Like in a line like this. Yeah. Swap sell. Sub. Oh, sub is the second one. He's <laughs> like Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Subway, man. Shout, Shout out, out Golden Subway. You guys got some mad employees. <laughs> Shout out that guy, man. One of the worst employees in I all. I forgot of to cut my sub. <laughs> in all of these That two. was the worst. Hey, if you can't cut subs, man, that was the worst experience I reckon I've ever had. <laughs> uh, so this starts up so we're going to do a couple of like primes and then we're going to do a couple of currents. Okay. So whether or not, but I'll tell you before which one we're doing, all right? Okay. okay. Start sub sell, Adriano, oh, into Adriano. Prime. Yeah, this is prime. prime. So this will be prime. Prime Adriano, prime Edin Dzeko, and prime Anton Griezmann. Far out. And I'm going to be putting you on timers. So if you panic, you just got to rock with your answer. I mean, boop. <laughs> uh, boys, we ready? Three, two, one. Turn your boards. Bud's gone. Griezmann star. Jacko sub. Adriano sell. Samuel, Adriano star. Griezmann sub. Jacko sell. Same. Mike, the exact same. Whew. Uh, I want to know from you two why Adriano's starting. The Emperor. He's he, literally in his prime. Yeah, couldn't mark the guy. We're talking. Yeah. We're talking about his prime. So yeah, it's so prime. can't he be first? There's no way he, he's not first. Yeah, simple. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> if we're talking about career, sure, I get not yeah. having him in yeah. at the top. Career, we understand. You, you yeah, make the reason in head do it. No. <laughs> no, Adriano in his prime. In their prime, he's one of the best strikers in the world. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, you yeah. had Adriano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had Adriano not yeah, yeah. You had himself. He had himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had himself straight away. He's the first person I put on this list. <laughs> what happened? Mate, it's not 1948. <laughs> okay. We're not playing football back then. Uh, These two, first, firstly, Adriano can only play striker, basically. Mm -hmm. Grizu, anywhere. In the front line, midfield as well. Mm -hmm. He has to start. Zacco, probably, we mentioned that, when was it, last week? One of the best forwards that just does his job and gets subbed off or subs on does his job that's it sure. done 
But I mean, if you, you've got a guy that was compared to R nine, you got a guy that's so compared good. to R nine for maybe three days. A guy that, <laughs> no, a guy days. that was so good that Brazil started him with R nine. That's how good he that. was. Yeah, but how long did that last? Three days. We're talking about, <laughs> We're talking about him in his prime. Yeah. We're not talking about. Yeah, if long, you're gonna get three days of prime, seasons, prime. it's if not three days. Why are you saying it's, it's three, three days? It's a three day trial, guys. Okay. No, we're being ridiculous. It is. We're being ridiculous. Imagine if you had if you had a four two seasons. If you had a tournament of four four games, you're fucked. You guys. Your team's done. <laughs> All right, boys, let's go to the next one. Starts up cell in their prime. Ryan Giggs. <laughs> Theo Walcott. <laughs> oh. You're with me so far? Yeah, I don't like them. <laughs> Ryan Giggs, Theo Walcott, and Florin Maluda. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> but just poked himself in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Jordy, did you see that? <laughs> wait, wait, Maluda, Chelsea Maluda, yeah, yep, yeah, right. and Giggs and Walcott, Hallaman, 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 <laughs> <and> Giggs, <laughs> Walcott, shout out Hallaman, Coat, three, wait, wait, wait. Uh, far out, two, one, turn your boards, please, bud. Maluda start, gig sub, Walcott sell. Gig start, Maluda sub, Walcott sell. Oh, we got the- Maluda start, Walcott sub, gig sell. Mm. Uh, Bud is the only one who had gig sell. Yep. Talk to me. Gig, gig sell because- That's what we're getting. <laughs> yeah. No gig way. sell because, one, yep. overrated. Yep. No one here can tell me what gigs was good at. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Yep. Two- Yep, he could he could play wing at the bare minimum, like minimum shit. I don't think he pass would. and cross. That's, that's it. Not true. Yeah, I don't think you know what Giggs was like when he was younger. <laughs> nah, bro, nothing. That's not true. Giggs okay. used to be light. Yeah, but fast. I'm comparing him to these guys. What was quicker? Are you gonna so say? Are you, are you gonna say? say number three? The third thing for why you couldn't put Giggs on the list? In what my list? I said two. Yeah, you said two. The third thing was. Oh, was I gonna say three? Yeah. Oh shit! I'll just make it up. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, Giggs. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I can't say that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I can't. Yeah. I can't. You can't. No, I can't. You can. <laughs> no, I can't. He's not putting gigs because he had sex with his brother's <laughs> wife. There you go. For a long I time. I didn't say that. So yeah. people in the comments, you at Pengus. I don't know why I really have Maluda at the top. I feel like I just liked him. Yeah, I, I do as well. That's yeah. why I, I didn't want to put him first. Because like, yeah. oh, maybe a bit of recency and I liked him. I think mine's bias having him at the top. But Giggs, obviously, I think he's overrated, but he was very good. Yeah, when he was good, he, he was, was yeah, top tier. He was very good. I think once he got old, that's when we started saying, all right, this guy um, is not But that to level. have Walcott not in cell? Yeah. No, Walcott, no. get out of here. If cause. you're going to say Giggs' is pace, then you've got probably one of the fastest wingers in Walcott. So what else does Giggs offer? Yeah, but it's not, Giggs was it's not who's the quickest. Player than Walcott. Yeah, yeah, but if Giggs gonna, was if, a much better player. Selling, if, if, if you're going to say like Giggs is- I'm surprised you two are selling Walcott. That's Walcott at his best, you don't think he's better than Malud at his best? I don't even know what so I don't even know goals. what position Walcott was at his best. Walcott, um, right, at, his best at his best was good. Walcott at his best was, was probably twenty one when he was young. No, still though, he, he, he had a, a twenty six. He was good. He had a season uh-huh. where he was playing nine, mm-hmm. and he was so, like he was solid. He was good. Walcott was good, and you still. But I just good. think, in terms of like the scaling. I saw way more Walcott moments that were very t- terrible. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's not about that. Yep. It's about prime. But, but, but I think oh, fair enough. I would probably rather Maluda. Yeah. Fair enough. Too. Uh, more balance. Fair, fair. That's all right. Uh, let's go prime. These ones. These are three players that who I think are, they're not similar in terms of like, they're the exact same players, but similar career, not achieving where you thought they would achieve, but all three extremely talented. So we're going to go. Start sub cell in their prime. Mario Gotze, Oscar, and Isco. Ooh. 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 Do, 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 do. Yeah, you need more time, mate? Um. <laughs> yeah. It was actually difficult. This uh, let's turn the boards around in three, two, one. Who's that? Isco. 
Sam has got Isco starting, Oscar on the bench, selling Gotze. Bud's got Oscar starting, Isco on the bench, selling Gotze. MJ's got Gotze for starting, Isco sub, selling Oscar. So it's all MJ's different. the odd one out here. Yeah, but we're all different. Because you two are both selling Gotze. Yeah. Mike. And Mike's got Gotze starting. Yeah. I think for me, I feel as though Gotze had the higher ceiling out of the two. Out of the three, sorry. Um, I think... At his level, he might not have been technically as good as Isco, but I think as a as an overall player, I think he was a better overall player than all two of them. But in terms of where they went, I think Os, um, Isco uh, had a better career and it had maybe a Definitely. longer career at a higher level. But I think in terms of like completeness, I think Gotza was the most complete explanation. player mm-hmm. out of all of them. I, th- I think for me, Isco did it at the highest level yeah. and played in a, in a, in a team that had the best players in the world. And he was still a big part of that team. But even before that, and even before that, Malaga, Malaga, he was, he was, he was very, very good and took a very bad Malaga team to big heights. They got to the Champions League semi-finals. Big heights. Yeah. And then I have Oscar second because I think, well, actually I might change them around. No, no, there's no change. I won't change them around. You can't do that, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's too late. Right. So you got to explain you why you got him second. Oscar second. <laughs> I did it based on just them as a player. I would take Oscar second. But if I was actually to bring one on as a sub, we've seen got to come on and do something big as a sub. So that would make way more sense for me to have him there. But as a player, I want Oscar second. But you got Oscar first? Yep. Yep. Very strange. Chelsea bias. Oh, yeah, um, Chelsea bias. Bit of Chelsea tax. Yep. But I feel like he's he was very extremely underappreciated at Chelsea. Um, I could say one thing. He's very <laughs> technical. Left foot, right foot. Knew how to find the goal. Uh, Isco. He was a goal scoring midfielder. Isco. It was God's say. Not convinced with Isco. Yeah. Technical ability, superb. But I feel like he was just a passenger at Real Madrid. If you put any of the other two there, That's if you put any for. of the other two in <laughs> that team, Coming off the bench, it's not going to be much of a he difference. Wasn't coming off the bench, he, he was. He won no. one one so Champions League. There was a long time where he, where he was starting. When Zidane, he was no, literally no, no, Zidane's favorite. No, 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 favorite. no, no I'm yeah. not talking about that. I'm talking about when he was just coming off the bench and stuff. What difference is bringing on an Oscar or a Gotze if they were, but if them two were in that situation? That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying. Well, if you want, but we're talking about the peak, though. Yeah, hundred percent. If you want a World Cup, man. If you want a World Cup, and Gotze. I've seen one highlight of Gotze. <laughs> it's been replayed for nah, what? Don't be silly. For the whole Cap. year. Yeah. Gotze, what, what else For Dortmund, done? Gotze yeah. was outstanding. <laughs> That's why he in, got he to the level he so was. He showed so much inconsistency at, Dor- why at Dortmund. Got, why do you think I was out. He had like, injury problems. I was, yeah, that's his problem. No, but inconsistencies that were pretty much out of his control. Then he came back. What do you mean? If you get injured, you, don't, you don't mean to get injured. You still you got a 50 more. million move to buy it. Yeah. Anyone can do that. Okay. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go. Next one. At their prime, we have Jordan Henderson, <laughs> John Obi Mikel. That's that right, <laughs> and Gareth Barry. <laughs> Why do you have to? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's a bit difficult. Yeah, it is. Turn your boards in three, two. One, Bud, Mikel starting. I oh, could have saw that coming. Barry and Hendo selling. Samuel, Mikel starting. Hendo on the bench, Barry selling. Mike, John Obi starting. Hendo on the bench. Me and MJ Gareth being kind of similar. Are you guys just doing like a pro black thing or you genuinely think Mikel is the best of the three of them? I think Mikel is the best I of the three the of them. I think I used to, I used to clown Obi Mikel a lot, yeah. but he was Same. actually... He wasn't a bad player. Mikel's definitely one player where I wondered how he played for Chelsea yeah, for so many years. I a lot. But I do think, I think he's if I player. was to start one of them, I would start Mikel because I think he offers more than the other two, especially defensively. I think he's he's a beast. And, and playing I think style. He's a, he's a smarter player as well. But I was really tossing up whether or not to put Hendo at the top. Because I think I think in terms of influence on the game yeah. and impact, Hendo's better. Yeah, I but think if so. We're, well. If we're looking purely as a player, I'd take Obi Mikel over Hendo. Me too. And Barry doesn't get a shout for me. And Buzz, do so you feel the same? No, I'll pull, I'll pull Barry second. Okay. I feel like, t- to me, if you want to be established as a, a good midfielder, 
You got to be able to, people be like, yep, he plays six and he's really good at that. So for me, Hendo, for me, still doesn't have a position. Like, I don't know where he's going to play. I think Barry's was for you. A six. Obi Mikel, a six. You, like think you, Barry's a, you think Barry's a really good six? No, he was an established six. For me, Henderson plays a bit of everything and he's not good at either. He's played the same position for the last three right years. Right mid. Center mid. Right he's mid. played center mid for yeah, the last right, three center years. Center mid, but Four on the years, right five side. years. On the right side of Salah, that's hugging the touchline. <laughs> Get out of here. So does that mean Rakitic isn't good? Rakitic? Yeah. He's an eight. <laughs> yeah, but he played on the right side of the midfield. Uh, in you their know, Rakitic for an eight. This is the last for primes and then we're going to do some right nows. In their prime... Mario Balotelli, Pato, and Mario Gomez. Oh, so I said God said again. <laughs> wow, right, that's that's really really good. That's a really good one. Thank you. Production. Thank production. Jordy sent these to me. <laughs> wow, right. Some you don't look at mine, bro. What I'm the hell? Not. Hey, production, can we get like a little wall here? Sam keeps looking at mine. <laughs> I would never need to. <laughs> you, guys read, you guys don't you guys can't read Dinka anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Riley laughed a bit too much at that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read in, in, in. <laughs> All right. Turn your boards around <laughs> in three, two. I shall go. Oh, one. Oh, 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 oh. Mike, turn that board. So you guys have all done different ones. Yes, that's a first. Finally. He, so he Mike's got a... Balotelli starting. Sam has got Gomez starting. Bud has Pato starting. He's got Balotelli sold. Sam has got Pato sold. And you've got Pato, Pato sold. sold. And so you have Gomez sub, Balotelli sub, Gomez sub. So for me, Pato technically was the better player. Yeah. Absolutely. But in terms of... Impact at their best. Mm -hmm. I think Gomez has the goals. It's clear. So if it's about goals, fair enough. That's but I think I if it's him. about player impact, how good they were at their prime for me, it's Balotelli. Um, I think bringing Balotelli as a sub, we've seen <laughs> it's a liability. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sell the guy. See, he has to start. Yeah, folks. That's true. Samuel, mine. You've seen Balotelli as a sub. <laughs> you've seen him also been subbed off in the 36 minutes. Yeah. For away me, at LA Galaxy. Exactly. <laughs> For me, Bal uh, Gomez is at the top because out of the three, he has the biggest impact in terms mm. of goals. And if Absolutely. we're picking a number nine, he's one of the best number nines to, to play. I think Balotelli second because I think as a, I think Pato as a player was extremely good, but for me, he was more exciting. He was yeah. like a prospect. He was very exciting. He was, he was a good player. Very yeah. raw. Yeah. Pause. Very raw. <laughs> But Balotelli, I feel as though we saw a point of Balotelli that looked as though he was a finished product. Mm. When, when he played for Italy in the Euros and looked like one of the best players in the world. For I, me, that's the highest point. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Balotelli. Balotelli at his yeah. best. But I think, yeah, I'm going with consistency and goals yeah. up top. And old mate over sense. there. It makes sense. You sold Balotelli. Yeah. You're starting Pato. And you're starting Pato. Yep. I think yours would make sense if it was Gomez, Pato, Balotelli more so than this, but continue. Well, I'm starting Pato. Because as MJ has mentioned, raw ability, he's just raw. You want a raw player to start games? Pato. Gomez, honorable mention. Uh, it could have been, like you said, it could have been Gomez or Pato. Mm. But I feel like Balotelli of the three wasn't the worst striker. But I feel like, for me, in my eyes, he offers, a, uh, um, he, Pato offers a bit more. And Gomez is to me is a more mature version of Balotelli in some way. Okay. All right, let's do a couple right nows. Mr. So right, right now, now, I'm going to need you to tell me who is starting, who is subbing and who is being sold out of Grealish, oh. Sancho and Kai Havertz. Oh. <laughs> Um, mm. 
Three, two, one. Sancho start, Grealish start, Sancho start, sell Grealish, sell Havertz, sell Grealish. You two have gone sell Grealish. I would be starting Grealish, the same as you. But you tell me why Grealish is being sold, first of all. I think in terms of ceiling, I feel like Grealish is closest to his ceiling already. Mm -hmm. I feel like these other two are still a bit of a mystery as it could be way higher than we think or it could be closer than what we think by just because I feel like I've, I feel like I've seen uh, many people have seen Grealish as a ceiling. I think for me, if we're looking at right now, mm. Grealish is nowhere near his best. I think if he was, he'd probably be starting, starting sub minimum. But I think if it's right now, I don't see Grealish as a starter. Um, I think if you look at that Man City team, he doesn't really make them better. Um, does he, Yeah, he's in the squad. He's, he, he's in the team, but does he make them better? No. For me, Havertz, I don't like him, but I think he has been scoring. Did he? Yeah, he's been scoring. His game's like... I don't like his game, but for me, Sancho, I think performance-wise, he's, de- he's been the most consistent out of these guys this season. So that's my argument. Not based on who's the best player, yeah. but I think based on who's performing, I'd say that's where I'm at. I think for me, out of the three, the best player is Grealish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm starting Grealish. And I don't I don't think he would have that impact coming off the bench. So that's why I've got Sancho coming off the bench. Because I don't think <laughs> Sancho I don't think Sancho has been that good this season. I think he's shown improvement, but I don't think he's been the same Sancho that was at Dortmund. And then Havertz, for me, as soon as you said his name, he was In getting sold. Yeah. And Sancho can only beat players 1v1 once he's come off the bench. Yeah, and he's not beating any full fresh players. Yeah, no fresh players. <laughs> because yeah. he's got absolutely zero pace. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Start sub sell oh, in Kunku. Oh. Leroy Sane and Luis Diaz. Oh shit! And do this pre Lewis Day getting injured. Okay. Yep. Dun 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 Mike still hasn't written anything. So who is it again? Diaz, <laughs> Diaz, Diaz and Kunku Sane. And Sane. APS frying his brain. Hey. Hey. APS hey. frying the brain. Hey. Hey. APS frying uh. the brain. Hey. APS frying his brain. Oh, boys, brain. we need to come on. We'll do this and then we're going to do one more quickly. All right. My, me and Bud have finished. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Three, two, one. Go, Bud and Kunku starting. Samuel Diaz starting. Mike Diaz starting as well. Wow. Wow. Bud, tell me why Nkunku's starting because you're the only one who has him starting. The other two are fucking... If we're going off Mm -hmm. form as of right now, yes, Diaz is injured, but I'm going pre-Diaz as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like Nkunku has been one of the best players. In the world. Um, You've seen... he, he. It's not just his goals and assists. It's the way he plays. He's uh, what's the word I used before? Steez. He's got that steez, and he's uh, he's he's bound to get a big move soon. So Facts. Yeah. I guess that's that's all I can okay. say. Okay. Why is Diaz starting for you too? For me, it's just clear his impact. Um, if you look at Liverpool, they're in a really bad they're in a really bad space. But he week in week out, he's making a huge impact. Whether it's his work rate. Um, his ability to take people on Score. scoring, providing goal scoring opportunities for other people. I think he's impacting this team greater than the other guys are for their teams. Um, and I think as much as I like Sane, I don't think he's got the same impact as Nkuku. And I think Nkuku has also been, had it come off the back of an exceptional season. So I think it just makes sense. 
Yeah, for me, I started Diaz, obviously, for exactly what you just said. But the reason I'm selling him is because I feel as though off the bench, Sane can give me can give me uh, enough impact that I need. And the money that you can get from Nkunku is just going to be ridiculous. <laughs> okay, that's why you sold him. That's why yeah, I'm saying. If I'm not going to start him, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to keep him on the bench if I can sell him. Because yeah, I don't think I can well, sell that's Sane. A good answer. That's a good answer. Yeah. Uh, for the last one, before we wrap this up, we're going to go Guaita. The keeper. Yeah, the, the keeper. <laughs> what? The, the palace keeper. Okay. 11 point Guaida. <laughs> Ford. The Leicester keeper. Yeah. And Hugo Lloris. Okay. <laughs> does does Lloris have two L's? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course it does. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to violate. <laughs> Someone needs to violate. That's the only reason I did this. Three, two, one. Thank you, bud. <laughs> and you I could count on at least. Yes! 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 yes, sir. The fact that Mike doesn't have Ward last is is a testament to how <laughs> fucking bad Laurie's is. Hey, let's have a go first. Have hold on, hold on, hold on. Laurie's is starting. All right, you can't catch me being too ridiculous on this show. I don't know. Firstly, you just you've, you've, kept, you've got Laurie starting. Money. Yeah, that makes sense. Ward is by far the worst keeper I've ever seen with my eyes. I think I don't think I've ever seen a keeper worse play in the Premier League ever, ever in my whole life of watching football. He is by far, he lets the easiest goals go in. He can't stop any difficult chances. He's one of the biggest reasons why Leicester are in this terrible patch they're in. So he's last. Guaita, uh, <laughs> do you know I didn't? Does Guaita even start for? Yeah, mate. He's yeah, a he's, keeper. He's got sure eleven mate, points, though. mate. You got eleven points, Guaita. Hasn't ever been good, firstly. So let's not be, let's not be, oh, let's yeah. not be stupid. Wrap it up then. All right. And then Laurie's number one, even though he sucks. He sucks. Yeah, he sucks. Yeah, he, sucks right. he sucks. FC predictions. Yeah. 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 yeah he's just got it. All right, but wrap the show up. This guy is way too safe. Cuz. No, no, what? no. Wrap the show up. No, no, no. Why the hell does he have Laurie's first when this guy should be freaking last? You let Edder score from freaking halfway, cuz. That's yeah. enough to put Facts. you last. And this and is it wasn't even a chip. <laughs> it was across the fucking ground. It dribbled like 15 times before winning the fucking All goal. Right, this and this has been let him shoot. Wrap it up. This has been let him shoot. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, share that shit. Yeah. Like, subscribe, share. Like, subscribe, share. Yes, yeah, Like, sir. subscribe, share. Spotify will come for your ass. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> Joe Rogan. Something big next episode. So yeah, look baby. out for that one, baby. Oh, yeah. Something big next episode. Joe Rogan will come for your ass. Ah.